I just picked this thing up just on a local buy and sell web page there got it pretty cheap it's got lots of issues probably just go around it here quick and see what we got visually wrong it's missing the front brake it's number plate you need a spark plug boot let's just They said that the kickstart shaft stripped, which is true. It's got a brand new back tire, new seat cover, tank's dented, but other than that, it's not too bad. Inside's actually really good. It makes an interesting noise when you kick it over. Let's see if I can get it to. Kind of a metallic-y sound in there, like something maybe loose that shouldn't be. This side cover's all smashed and... It's got a new gasket on it though. I'm wondering if they had this apart and... Didn't really put it back together properly? Or maybe it's not... Maybe it's not too bad in there, maybe it's just something I can fix, sort of take it back apart and see what we're dealing with here we'll dent the tank here all right so let's dig into this and see what we got a lot of times with these things you're just fixing somebody else's mistakes like somebody will try to fix it and they do it wrong and kind of retracing their steps and I'm not too concerned about this I mean, I'll straighten that out, kind of pop it back into place, and whatever. Throw it back on. But that's a new gasket-ish. So, I mean, that kind of tells you that they, they were in here. You got one bolt here. The chain's, like, super tight. Like, not even be a, I can't even flex that thing. There's no adjustment bolt here. I'm going to take the tank and the seat off. I think everything they touched on this bike got screwed up so far. This here is just a mess. You hear something in there. Oh, there's some stuff in there. It's loose. <laughs> Spring. <sighs> yes, I guess she's coming apart. I'm gonna probably take this motor out, put it on the desk there, and take it apart and put it back together because I don't really trust whoever was in here. And I'm not gonna go all the work, put it back together just to find out that there's something a little further in that's broke, so. I don't even know how they got this chain on so tight. Like, how? There we go. Yay! 
Okay, so the hair filter was holding it up. <laughs> not attached. That's not attached. That's not attached. Motors. I got the side cover off here. I'm just gonna sort of show you this this here. They call it a clutch ball retainer. That was just right about there. And then all this, like this spring, it was at the bottom. I took it apart, kind of looked like this. So I, I'm not really sure how it wound up down there, cause like once this is all together. It's like, it's all held together. I don't know how things just fall apart, but what I think happened is this is your clutch adjustment here. So this kind of goes on to the end of here. And the note here, you got an adjustment that you can pull it in or push it. Or out here you have an adjustment. You can thread it in, thread it out. And maybe if you thread it too far out, it'll allow this to just... So that's what I'm thinking of. I'm not really sure. You get that out. Filter change. Okay. How not to do this job? <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw a few bolts in here just to keep the dust out of her. definitely feel like I'm not doing this right, but I also definitely feel like I'll get this running again. Okay, there's that. That looks important. There's a tooth off a of gear, so that can't be good. What gear? Huh. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, it was like probably two threads away from falling off there today. Oh, it's definitely down to two or three liters probably. Yeah, no worries, have a good one. Okay, bye. That was Jiffy Lube. The oil filter was about to fall off on the truck today. Alright, so we're missing the tooth right there. Which is right there. I don't see anything else, but... So right now is when it would be handy to find one of these motors for, like... Free, basically. Find one for free. Oh yeah, I definitely have this apart now. Little rubber plug. Okay. <laughs> There's that gear right there, the tooth, and there's the tooth. It's going to be the second one in, so it's going to be this one right here. You know, I was pregnant, you're probably going to buy the whole thing, but whatever.
I'm gonna have to order this. So that'd be the kickstart shaft. I cut that. It was all bent. I couldn't get it out. This is the shifter shaft. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, it's... It's got a nice bend in it. Up here. That gear right there is missing a tooth. I need that gear, and I was looking last night. It's almost looking like I'm going to have to pay like $100 and just get the whole set. Piston, I'm not sure. I mean, it's... Obviously, the piston's good, but I mean, that's only good to a certain extent. It really comes down to the rings, and unfortunately, with the kickstart the way it was, I couldn't do a compression test. Cylinder looks good. You can still see the cross hatches and everything else. I'm wondering if they had to replace. I think they replaced this because all the gaskets are like pretty good. So, or they were good, I guess I should say. So, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the cylinder's probably good. Pistons, good. Rings. I think I'm going to roll the dice. You know, put them in, see what happens. Worst case, to take the top end off and replace it. I've done that in the bike on the other one, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, I am going to replace every other gasket. I'll clean that oil filter over the other side. And that should be it. I mean, that'll be enough to get her back together and see what we're dealing with. I mean, I don't see anything else jumping out at me that needs to get done right away. I just want to take care of everything internal sort of deal while I got it open, so. Anyway, I'm going to end that video here. Next one may be a little while, but it'll be a reassembly of the whole thing. And take her for a little spin.